Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back to Closet Talk. Today is a very special occasion. Um, I am going to keep this as long as I'm continuing this YouTube video career. I'm going to try and make this a seasonal thing. But it is the trash of the season. That is right, folks. We are going to do a little sub-series within Closet Talk where I'm going to find the trashiest anime of the season. And since we are in the summer 23 season, I have found it already. It like we are a week and a half in and it's already out. It's called Temple, okay? This anime right here is the golden trash of this summer. I don't care if a nut like nothing that comes out, nothing new that's going to come out is going to top this as being more trashy. Like, watch this is this is how the anime starts. どうよ。お迎えが来たらしい。お父さん、どこ行くのか。そうだよ。父さんは自分の人生を生きることにしたの。まだ見ぬ世界中の女子と年頃になって。My God, his his dad really said, "Hey, yo, fuck you, kid. I'ma go fuck bitches all around the world," and then it, and then dipped. His dad dipped on him. Like, oh my God, if that doesn't catch you, if that does not inch pique your interest, and you're like, what the fuck? Well, God damn it, I don't know. You probably eat rocks for your fucking daily nutrition. But wow, what a like I. I just watched this while, like, right before I recorded this video because I was like, I need to record. I need to talk about this now. So, Temple. <laughs> we open up with this. All right, no, I'm not even gonna do a synopsis. Like, or maybe I should do a synopsis so I could prevent some people from watching this shit show. So, my first idea or impression of this anime was judging by from the poster, I thought it was just gonna be. Um, like a slice of life about shrine girls and and I was just all like okay so this is probably just gonna be a turn her brain off kind of show right but then no I ended up watching the first episode and found out it was gonna be a harem it's it's hundred percent a harem like there's no way it's not going to be and so you bet your ass I'm like fuck it we ball and I'm gonna watch this shit and I god I am I am a victim <laughs> to these fucking trash Anyways, so here's a synopsis. It opens up with Akagami Akemitsu, this the protagonist, red hair guy, right? And he just hates his dad, rightfully so, for ditching his ass when he was five years old. <laughs> so then he's all like, all right, fuck women, fuck bitches. I don't need him in my life, you know? I could live independently. And I'm like, damn, that's literally me right now. I get zero bitches, and I'm like, yeah, fuck them, I don't need them. And then, coincidentally, he runs into the main girl, uh, Yuzuki, and yeah, of course he falls in love. But then, oh my god, like, this show is, <laughs> Jesus shit, it was actually really funny, like, it was funny in a, like, stereotypical bad way. And the whole 20 minutes I was watching this, I was like, oh god, like, this this is this is trash right here and fuck it fill me i tell me off god damn <sighs> i can't say much about it because the first episode only came out but i just know there's gonna be a lot of stereotypical shit happening and my god like if you look at all the girls like they look the same <laughs> their faces are all the same and that is definitely just like a skill issue on the author no diss no disrespect but, like, you could definitely tell that, like, they have a very, like, certain art style that they can only, like, they can only do. But, wow, like, this is a short video. I just have to record this. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I, like, that, that opening sequence was funny as fuck. It did that and then just cut to the opening. And it's just like, what the fuck? Anyways, um, oh, God, it's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.